Hey, welcome to this uh, Windows 8 video. And um, I, I get a lot of, you know, email from um, messages and uh, comments from people saying they have problems with their computers. And uh, apart from, you know, hardware is usually rarely a problem, but it can happen. But what is very often a problem in computers is the drivers. The drivers are the pieces of, you know, these little bits of software that actually run in Windows and that basically uh, explain to Windows how the, that comp component works. So for example, a graphics card driver will instruct Windows on how to handle the different aspects of that uh, hardware. So flawed drivers are probably I would say the number one culprit for computer problems unfortunately a lot of people will have problems and the uh, probably what is the most false and you know I would say urban legend problem is that everybody's gonna say oh you know it's Windows but <laughs> Windows is actually a very very stable piece of software Windows 8 is not a problematic operating system. It actually does not crash. Uh, I've never had a blue screen in two years and a half on this laptop. And um, I believe that Windows 8, like Windows 7, is a very stable operating system. And people don't understand and don't make the difference between the fact that drivers which are not made by Microsoft most of the time, but made by the manufacturer of that hardware, are very often a culprit of what's happening in your computer and the problems that you're having with the computers. So how do you fix that? Well, first of all, you need a little bit of logic. Try to find when and where it's crashing. Is it crashing in a video, a video game? Is it crashing while you're watching YouTube videos, online movies? Is it crashing while you're listening to music? Is it crashing uh, when you're going on the web? That gives you little bits of information of maybe what driver is actually having a problem. For example, on video games, if there's crashes while you're playing, uh, there's a chance that it could be the graphic card adapter that needs to have an updated driver. If it's while you're surfing the web, maybe your network adapter needs an update. So how do you do that? The first thing that you can try, which is probably the easiest, is to go into the, the device manager. So go into the search in Windows 8 and type device, device manager and go there. This will give you a complete list of the devices, the drivers in your machine. First of all, the first indication that you should look for is, is there any, uh, you know, yellow exclamation points or red X or any problematic driver here? If there is something wrong, usually what Windows does is show you the driver by just opening the menu below it. So if, for example, there's a network adapter problem, normally you should see it expand. And it's gonna tell you, well, this device has a problem. What you can try is to go onto the device that seems to have a problem, or click on the driver that you think has a problem, and in driver, just click update driver, and then click search automatically for updated driver software. This goes into the Microsoft update site. And we'll check if there's something that can be updated in this driver. That's the first and easy way to do it. Now, a lot of the drivers don't come from there. And a lot of the drivers will not have updates from here. So what do you need to do next? Well, use your computer's hardware or your computer's brand manufacturer. If it's a Toshiba, if it's a Dell, if it's an HP, is it a Lenovo, and so on, that will give you an idea of where to go first. So I've got a Toshiba. What I would do is take my browser 
and then go to Toshiba.ca because I'm Canada but if you're in the United States or anywhere you can try Toshiba.com what is the hardest in a computer website is to find where the drivers are and that's always a big problem a lot of websites are not very clear as to where you need to actually go for support so look at the website check it out here there's office retail I would go to solutions and services in this case here you'll probably have something for that so for example let's say I go to solutions and services and I go to um, complete computing let's go here what does it say and what do we see so here there's computers as you see here it's very very difficult on some websites to find support here in the bottom in the gray area there's support I'm gonna click here and here's Toshiba support which is at support.toshiba.ca so probably support.toshiba.com so fine is it a computer so it's in notebooks tablets and all-in-ones and so on you go there and here you'll see product categories and stuff like that so you know a notebook select the family of notebook mine is a satellite uh, series mine is a s855 so here you'll go into s and in the s we'll see 855 let's go and then there's a model number now all these are written on the hardware so if you have a laptop look under your laptop there's stickers there's numbers if you are on a desktop very often on the sides or on the back you'll have these numbers so whatever website you need to go to dell.com for example you need support here's very very easy Dell has support right there on the top and you'll see support by product and you know just try to find your own product right there uh, to find something once you're there you'll probably see drivers you'll finally go to a place where it sets drivers and you know what how do you know which drivers you need well first of all by going with the laptops manufacturer and model you know you'll have the right drivers but what's cool is that in the device manager you can actually look at something that's very important when you're in the device manager and you go into a driver let's say my dis display adapter here the Radeon HD 7670 when you are on that driver you'll notice that the driver has a driver version oh, so here I have 13.151.0 and you have a driver date 19 August 2013 what you'll want to do is go online and try to find a driver that is more recent than that one so here I've got one that's pretty old as we're in 2015 I'll go online and try to find a driver that is uh, you know in the past year or so um, sometimes you know there's nothing new sometimes you'll find a driver that's maybe 2014 or even early 2015 so that's what you'll want because if there are new versions of drivers it means there's also bug fixes there's also maybe some new features that this hardware can uh, do so these are little things that you'll need to check for and that's what's gonna help you in learning you know maybe fixing problems in your laptop or desktop computer go through the drivers and try to find the latest drivers make sure that you choose the correct ones make sure that you know that you have a 64 or 32 bit version of Windows 8 and make sure that you choose the correct one uh, drivers for Windows 8 and 8.1 are not necessarily the same so check that out and maybe that could fix a problem and I would say that drivers bad drivers are probably the cause of at least 60 to 70 percent of computer problems and you'll probably notice that after updating a lot of the drivers things are going to go back to normal 
Now, maybe you don't have a problem, but you're watching the video and you're thinking, oh, maybe there's updates for my computer. You know what? If you don't have any problems with your computer, one of the sayings, you know, that says, uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, is extremely, extremely important even on computers. So if your computer goes well, I don't think you should update drivers. You know, the same that drivers can actually fix problems can also be reversed. You can also update drivers and have problems you didn't have before. That also happens. So if you don't have any problems, don't update the drivers. Just leave them like they are. Hope that this helps in these little tips and tricks on how to uh, fix computer problems. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe you have something about Windows that you'd like us to talk about, let us know. I'll try to post a video online. Thank you for watching.